Welcome back everyone. Let's see how we did this week setting up at the card show. First off, we had to fill up our tables with some stuff. And after this, we had to set out the YouTube cards, of course. Had a little bit of wax. Here's some of the other cases with some of the bigger cards. You can see the Burke Ross maze in there. As my dad's Ted Williams rookie got some Jimmy Fox. My friend brought over this awesome Hank Aaron rookie. PSA 1 with a mark. Looks like an absolute beauty, though. No creases anywhere. Here is the other table that we had. Uh, Jackie Robinson, 53. Warren Spawn, some other stuff in there. K-Line rookie, the best pickup of the day. Not even close. Mini Minoso, 54. Red Heart, awesome looking card and a six. This was the best I've ever seen this show. It was the most busy I've ever seen. There wasn't any other shows going on in the area, so I think everyone kind of flocked there. Easily my best kind of display case that I have is this one here. Almost everything was uh, about $40 or less, some a little bit more. Here were some of the best pickups of the day, too. Some of the 1950s and 1930s stuff. That's kind of where I try to stick to. Somewhere in the 30s to 50s seems to be the hot spot. Picked up these two slabs. Both of those came with a couple other that I'll show in a minute. Had to go to Jersey Mike's for a quick sandwich to re-energize. The dog was loving the biggest pickup of the day, the Johnny Evers PSA 3. This is an awesome looking card. And I said we'd come back to these. Here we are. I actually bought these with two different Mickey Mantle cards. I bought a 58 Mantle and a 68 Mantle, both in SGC 3s also. And I managed to sell those at the show. I didn't even get to take them home or even get a picture of them because someone else came up to my table and just bought them back off of me. But some awesome looking cards and they were fun to have for a couple minutes. What is up everyone? Welcome back. We are in the new slash future studio. I have absolutely nothing set up yet. So we're just using a wall today. Let's see what we got. All right, we're gonna start off with a few of the biggest cards that we got and I'll just show you guys all the purchases we had today. Starting off, we got this 33 Gaudi Hornsby. It's got a crease to it, but still some nice color and a very desired card. So we got the Hornsby. Another, probably my favorite card of the day. This Mini Minoso Red Heart, 1954. Awesome, awesome looking card. And it's in a PSA 6. So they're both sitting over there. We got two other slabs. Most of the stuff I got was raw cards. So we got these two 1960 tops. We got Hank Aaron and uh, Roberto Clemente. Can't ever go wrong with those. I actually ended up doing a trade too uh, for one of my smaller raw cards. It was a uh, partial cash plus this card for... Uh, one of my smaller cards that I had, so I ended up taking that. 60 Fleer Mel Ott and a 7. Not bad. Next up, I got all these Gaudis here, so let's get going through these. Got the biggest one of the bunch, this Carl Hubble. It's going to be a rookie card. It's not bad. It's got awesome colors. Kind of a little bit of surface, like dirt or scuffing. Not bad at all, though. One of my favorite cards we got. We got this Eddie Collins. This one has seen some beatings, has a hole punched in it. Not only a hole though, it's a hole shaped like a heart. So maybe that adds something. Didn't quite see that when I was picking it up, but still an awesome looking card. Next up we got Heine Manish. Not bad looking there. Everyone loves these Gaudi cards, especially the 33s. Got a Frankie Frisch, 33 Gaudi. Got a Chuck Klein right here. And a Carl Hubble. This is going to be his other card in the set. He also has the same picture in his 34 Gaudi. But this is his rookie right here. Now the stuff that's been on fire for me has been the 1950s and 60s stuff. Especially these early Bowmans I'm having a lot of success with. There's a lot of people building these early Bowman sets. Like 48 through all the way up through 55. And just a whole lot of demand for those. Also some... 50s, 60s top stuff. Just can't even keep that type of stuff in. So that's kind of what I was looking for at this show. This one here is the Al Rosen, 50 Bowman. Hank Bauer, 50 Bowman. Leo DeRocher. It's going for some Hall of Famers, just helping people fill out their sets. Got a 51 Eno Slaughter. 51 Al Rosen. 52 Don Newcomb. This early win was actually pretty sharp. 
And then I got one that's a little bit lower condition. Some 53 Bowman's here. George Cal, I think I already have one of these, but why not? You know, Slaughter and Richie Ashburn. That wasn't it for the 50s and 60s though. Got some Jim Gilliam 54 tops. Hoyt Wilhelm 54. A little bit of a nicer Jim Gilliam here. And a Ted Klazuski. It's 54 Bowman's also. Hoyt Wilhelm, Ralph Kiner, Don Larson, Jim Gilliam, Red Shine Deast, a couple 55 tops, Jim Gilliam again, George Kelp, and another Jim Gilliam 56 tops. Final thing from this one dealer was this whole lot of 55 Bowmans. Lots of them are Hall of Famers, lots of them are just stars. So we got another Jim Gilliam, some Eddie Matthews, Lou Boudreau, Early Wynn, Bob Lemon, Phil Rizzuto, Robin Roberts. I believe this one was miscut from the factory, just the wrong size. Hoyt Wilhelm. So if you're looking to build a 55 Bowman set or any of these other sets here, feel free to get in touch with me. My email is going to be in the description. Ballparkmemoriesinfo at gmail.com. That's an easy way for people on YouTube to kind of contact me. But anything you see on this channel, feel free to reach out, contact me. If you're building some of these sets or you're just looking for some of these certain players or cards, reach out. Had another deal here from a separate dealer. Got this 48 Bowman, Ali Reynolds, George Kell, 54 Bowman, Phil Rizzuto, 54. Monty Urban from 55 Tops. Frank Robinson, 58 All-Star. Two more 58 cards with Sandy Koufax and Duke Snyder. The 54 Tops, Whitey Ford, 62 Koufax. This is a 61 Koufax. Got a Juan Marichal rookie in this lot. Along with the Jim Palmer rookie. And then the final card of the day, 66 Koufax, I believe this yeah, 66 Kofax. So that was everything we got this weekend. All right, so that was everything I picked up yesterday. But like I mentioned earlier, I still get comments all the time of people asking how they can uh, get their hands on some of these cards or if these are for sale. And yes, they are. Like I mentioned earlier, my email is going to be in the description or my Twitter, my Instagram. If you guys have either of those, you can just direct message me there. Or on my email, I'll check that and get back with you whenever I can about any of these cards. So don't be scared. Reach out if any of these cards interest you. I'd love to get them head your way. So other than that, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to say thank you, everyone, for watching. And hope you guys had some good luck at your recent card shows. Let me know if you picked up anything cool recently or if there's anything that you're looking for that's next on your kind of big want list. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.